Hey, Real Salt Lake fans. It's going to be a fun and interesting 2015 season with the addition of Real Monarchs to the Salt Lake City area. I had an opportunity to catch up with Real Salt Lake head coach Jeff Kassar to talk about what that team means to this group and potentially what the relationship looks like going forward. Meeting with Bill and Garth, I had the opportunity to pick who was going to be the head coach. First person that came to my mind was Freddie. This is a man who has been with our academy for several years now. They've been extremely successful. They know the style of soccer that we want to play, the type of player that it takes to succeed at RSL. And obviously we're going to have a lot of young men on our team. I think it bridges the gap between the Monarchs and RSL as far as um, even player relationships. He's a great tactician. He's a great person. He's been entrenched in the RSL philosophy, so it was natural. It seemed like the right thing to do. So really excited to be working with Freddie. Again, we see the game very similar, and that's going to be important for when we want to move players up to the first team. He needs to know what it's going to take to be successful with RSL, and he knows that. He's worked several preseasons with us now. He helped us out last year when it was my first year down in Casa Grande. We'll do the same this year, continue to work on our relationship, and I'm really, really excited about that. What does the addition to Real Monarchs mean to Real Salt Lake, and how does this relationship between players going back and forth, the opportunity for younger players to get that vital game experience, mean to this group in this locker room? Every player at the end of the day wants to play in games, right? And sometimes it can become a tricky situation when we don't have as many games to get them. Obviously having uh, the Monarchs right in our backyard is going to be key to that. But I think even more important is going to be the training. Um, you know, we could also get guys second sessions with the Monarchs. Uh, we can bring those players up to the first team, have them train to get uh, in our environment as quickly as possible. And it allows uh, myself and the coaching staff to, to put on the exact kind of sessions that we want to make the numbers right. The potential to develop a player from youth through your second division into your first team is something that when we see it coming into fruition, you know, when we see those rewards, when we see those players earn their chance on the first team, not be given it, but earn it now through the process of, of building through our whole system. And when we see those faces enter into starting lineups and then become consistent starters is when as a club, as an organization, we become one that has finally achieved something that, that really the American soccer scene hasn't seen. And we're trying to do it before other clubs and we're all kind of in an arms race in that sense, but you know, the clubs that get to that first and produce those quality players, those first team quality players first are the ones that, that get to you know, raise that flag and, and be proud of it. When you look at a guy like Luis Gill and what his development has meant to Real Salt Lake with Real Monarchs, how does that change and potentially accelerate the process of young player development? Bringing a young player along and putting him in an environment in the first team in the training sessions is one massive step. The other is getting them game experience and getting them beaten up a little bit, as a lot of coaches would say. A young player like Luis Gill, having those opportunities to really, in a game, get beat up, have success, it just makes their uh, progression uh, a lot faster. Not only does it provide a place for young players to go get 30 games, it provides a place for players coming off injury to go get fitness, to go get timing, to go get what they need to come straight back in and contribute to the first team. So you're looking at a development as well as a stepping stone for recovery of first team players, which is a wonderful thing. I mean, if you have a young kid that comes in and all of a sudden you've got a first team player that, yeah, he might be going down for game fitness or, or any other potential reason, but you might have a kid who's come up and signed a contract and within three months he's playing next to a first team star. The potential impact, not only soccer wise, but the psychological impact of playing next to that player, the inspirational impact of playing and training with those players, the team will be down the road. If we're odd numbers, Jeff has the right to call those players in to train with us. So it gives us the ability to consistently evaluate players. It gives players the ability to consistently play games in a professional atmosphere. and. I think the short-term value is, is really the amount of games we can get. The long-term value is the development of our own and, and really seeing as, as we watch these players come through our system and into our first team, the, the progression of what we're doing on, on our own as a club. Register now for the 2015 season ticket waiting list at realsaltlake.com.